He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. There are so many high-tier horses available for John post-game. I think it's the game's way of rewarding you for a completing story mode and a consolation for the emotional heaviness of Chapter 6. Check out this herd of wild Nakotas just having fun in the sun in New Austin. I do feel wild horses are easier to find post-game. But you are here for a list of John's top 10 horses and not my thoughts on life in New Austin, so let's get started at number 10, where we have to include Rachel, the first and last horse the game will give John and you in the epilogue. Rachel is a seal brown thoroughbred, strong, fast, and brave. The thoroughbreds are one of my favorite breeds in the game, and Rachel has a shiny dark coat and the signature size, physique, and bravery you would expect from the breed. Stats at level 4 come in at a very respectable 7 and 7. She is a unique horse, and you cannot rename her. For number 9, we have the Strawberry Roan Ardennes, strong, heavy, and built like a tank. She looks great in the snow, but she was bred for war. You can pick one up at the Van Horn Stable for around 450 bucks, depending on your honor. Stats at level 4 are 10 health and 8 stamina. This horse is a terminator and basically impossible to kill. However, don't try. I'm employing hyperbole and exaggeration to make a point. And now I'm being pedantic, so let's move on. At number 8 is the tiny but mighty gray Overo American Paint from the Tumbleweed Stable for around $425. Stats at level 4 are a surprising 8 and 8, fantastic numbers for a workhorse. He's fast, agile, very well-mannered, and with fantastic acceleration. Coming in at lucky number 7, here's the Tiger Mustang, which you can find in the wild at Rio del Lobo Rock. Stats at level 4 are a very respectable 8 health and 8 stamina. And just look at his brown bronze coat. His speed, agility, and acceleration are all off the charts, and he's also an iconic horse of the American West. And I thought I saw a piebald Tobiano Hungarian half-bred here, but it's just a cow. For number 6, we have the Silver Turcoman, Hosea's horse, and I know you miss Hosea as much as John does. You can pick one up at the Tumbleweed Stable. Stats at level 4 are 10 health and 8 stamina, which you can expect from a horse that costs around 950 bucks, depending on your honor. You get what you pay for at the stables. Strong, fast, and brave, and with the size I like for John and Arthur, I can't say enough good things about the Turco Man. At number 5, we have to list the Rose Gray Bay Arabian, the greatest Arabian in the game, at least as far as stats are concerned. At level 4, this horse tops out at 10 and 10. You can pick one up in Blackwater and she will set you back around 1250 bucks. again, depending on your honor. She may very well be the most expensive horse in the game, and she won't let you forget it for a minute. For number 4, I have the Dark Bay Turkoman from the Blackwater Stable. You can get one for around $925. Stats at level 4 are much like the silver and come in at 10 health and 8 stamina. What I like about this horse is her coat. We have the gold Turkoman and the silver Turkoman. However, the dark bay is the bronze Turkoman. The coat has almost copper highlights in the sun if you keep them brushed and clean. At number three, we have the new Perlino Andalusian. Previously a PC exclusive horse, you can find one in the wild at Brandywine Drop. That'd be nice. Uh -uh. This horse is also available in story mode, and I would have put her in the top three for Arthur's list had one been available at the time. Stats at level four come in at an impressive eight stamina and ten health, just like the Turkoman's. You can't go wrong with her size, her heavy muscular physique, and her unique, almost shell pink coat. <laughs> For number two, of course we have to include the Silver Dapple Pinto Missouri Foxtrotter, arguably the greatest horse in the game. You know how much I love this horse, and if you weren't able to get one for Arthur, you can easily purchase one for John at the Blackwater Stable for around 950 bucks. Stats at level four come in at an expected eight health and nine stamina, but you gotta love that coat and that snowy white mane and tail. And at number one, the number one horse for John has to be Buell, the Cremello Gold Dutch Warmblood. He's available in Chapter 6, but I always save this mission for John because I couldn't bear to say goodbye to him after that final ride. It would break my heart even more. You get to meet Buell when John helps a stranger at O'Cray's run. I found him. 
You're a good man, Mr. Mr. John. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you want to hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <clears throat> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. How'd you lose the leg again? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. How's the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish. Enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know... It's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Stats at level 4 come in at 9 and 9. He has the size, he has the strength, and he has the speed. And that coat, Cremello Gold, Creamy Gold, there's nothing like it, it's completely unique. Though an argument can be made to the coat's similarities to the Buttermilk Buckskin Kentucky Saddler, but this is John's list, and the less we mention Arthur, the better. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again further on down the trail. It'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy.